You know what? I want to talk about one other thing. I do have this not every nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. One thing I'm gonna tell you about these scooters, when you buy these scooters, you should be mechanically inclined. Okay? Because right off the box, right out the box, you'll see the box, the unboxing video, but right out the box, this video, this thing has got an intricate uh, fold mechanism. It's got an intricate fold mechanism right here. And you got to raise it, you know, take these pins out and stuff like that. And, and, and then you raise that lever up and then this folds down like that and you can transport it. However, when I took out the box, this lever wouldn't come up. So I had to take that a loose, same on the other side, the screw right there, take that off, screw in a, a screw that was like that much sticking out. And I had to screw it in and then that allowed to work properly. So now that I've done that, it's, I have no complaints really other than, you know, right at the box I had to do some maintenance to this thing. But after riding it, it's well worth it. It's well worth it. It's a simple, you know, just it's right there in front of you. You know, you can fix stuff and work on it yourself. This one has controllers. A controller. A controller is like this, right? And you plug. This is the power. This right here is to the motors, and then you have other stuff that's like to the lights, you know, that sync the lights and brakes and everything with this other stuff. These are the main ones, these. And so this, there's two of these in here, and they're in this deck. So I gotta take that deck loose and all that kind of stuff to get to this controller because this rear wheel motor, this rear motor's not working. I'm only running off the front motor. It's got two motors, both of these do. The motor in that one, the motor in here. See, that's a motor. I don't know if you can. That's a motor. Right there. That's a motor. You got the same thing on the back. You got the same thing on that one and that one, okay? This, this back motor's not working. Still rides great. That front motor's enough. I mean, I can go. 40 miles an hour if I wanted to. I don't go that fast, but 40 miles an hour with just that one motor. But I would like to have that back motor back, which they sent me another controller. So they've already sent me one, so this will be the second time. So you're gonna have maintenance issues with these things. That you gotta fix yourself because they're being shipped like from, this may be Australian, I'm not sure. And this one is uh, China. So they, but they send you parts, you know, they're real good about you know, help me. They got YouTube videos. They've got tutorials and everything that show you how to work on these things. The good thing about this one, though, this is a tight fit. Two of these sitting in there, plus a big battery that's about this big sitting in there. This one, I hadn't been in that deck yet, but the controller is right here. Mine is right there on the handlebar. So this gets hot. It gets hot in there with the battery and the controllers and all that, that gets hot. This one has the controllers up here. And then you can see running the wires, running all the wires and stuff down through this column in the inside, okay? So I would just have to take this panel, it's a panel back here, just take that panel off and I can work on the controllers, that easy. They've got down, they got down with this one. This is, this is next generation, like I said. I need to do some adjustments to it to make it fit me. Because right now it's just a little bit short. Because I'm going to raise that handlebar up. Other than that, you got to hang on to it. This will burn rubber. This will, right on the initial takeoff, it'll, you know, you got five gears to this one. This one has three. I run this one on two. I run this one on two so far. But 
it will burn rubber, where both wheels will burn rubber, right from the initial start. And you can go up to five. I'll never see five. But I might see three. But right now I'm running on two, and two is plenty. So that's about it, but this one, whew, I can't wait to take this one. I might go to Memorial Park, or Sea Wolf Park, uh, Herman. I might go to those parks and ride around, let you see the, the climate, you know, here in Houston. You know, uh, it's 55 degrees, 59 degrees, sorry, it's 59 degrees here in Houston. And so I put on my jacket because it's kind of cool. It's about 15 miles an hour wind, so I put on my jacket because it's kind of cool. And it provides great protection. You know, I got pads in the back, you know, everywhere. So I put on my jacket today because I wasn't unsure. Now, we did the research on this one, and they talked about how fast it was and this and that and the other. And uh, so I couldn't wait to try it. And so I put on more safety gear just because. And I just went down the street and back. Well, actually, I'm lying. I went to the Starbucks, which was down the street and back. There you go. So they both got their maintenance issues, you know, that you got to work on, you know. Like I said, this to me is worth it because I'm learning so much about these things that I almost could build one myself. That's how much I'm learning about it. Because I'm having to, you know, do the maintenance to them and all that and doing the research and everything. And so I'm learning a whole lot about them. You know, they're real simple, really. They're real simple. Just like I said, you just gotta be mechanical. You know, if you can change a tire, fix a flat, stuff like that. You know, I got another scooter in there too. That's my entry level scooter that I got. It's smaller, but it's a, it's a good scooter too. It's really good too. But these are my babies right here. my third scooter. My wife's handle. My wife, she rides too. This is one. This is the one that got me hooked. This is the one that got me hooked. I rode this one. I took this truck. I had some problems with my truck. I, I, I folded this one up. That's real easy to fold and transport and all like that. Put that in my truck, went to service station, which is on NASA Road 1. I'm in League City. I went to NASA Road 1, right there by the NASA, by where NASA is. That's where the gas station is. I dropped the gas station where my mechanic is. Work on my truck, took this scooter out, rode it all the way home. I don't know how many miles that is, but it's quite a, it's a good little ride. Through the neighborhoods and all that, you know, and, made it to the house. When they called me and told me my truck's ready, rode my scooter back to the service station, picked up my truck. So this is a good scooter too, real good. Smooth, nice, not that fast. Top speed on this is about, you know, I, I'm like 285. So if somebody was weighing like, you know, 150, 180, something like that, you may could get up to about 30 miles an hour. I would say, eh, you probably can get up to yeah, 30 miles an hour. I got up to like 24 miles an hour on this one. That's topped out, just got three gears, went to third, and I got up to about 25 miles an hour, something like that, 24 miles an hour. This one, I've been up to like 35 miles an hour. And I haven't tested the speed of this, which I'm not gonna, you know. I will say this, this one is more sturdy, everything on at fast speed. Now, it's kind of like built for that. It's like built for speed. They race these. These are these they race these scooters. This one is built for speed. And it's sturdy and high quality. So is this one. But this one's not really, it's too bulky. You know, it's got 13 inch wheels. This one's got 11, this one's got 10. 
uh, this one is just a nice smooth ride. The main thing I want to see is distance. That one, I know I can go a long way and back. And this only got one motor, and that's in the back. It doesn't have a front. It's not, this one doesn't have dual motors. It's got one motor in the back. I paid like $500 for this one. Now it's worth a thousand. You go buy this now, it's a thousand dollars. But when I bought it, it was five hundred. This one is twenty-seven hundred, and this one is thirty-two hundred. Okay, so I got quite a little money wrapped up in these little things. But you know, what can you can you put a value on excitement and fun? You know what I mean? I might as well spend it on myself because if I don't, somebody else will get it. I might as well spend it on me every now and then. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, there go my scooters. I gave this one to the wife. She can't ride those. I won't let her ride those. Those are two. This one's got password protection. I can lock this down with password where you can't even do nothing. You got to put the password in to even go somewhere. This one has a key. This one has a key to turn it on. This one has a key to turn it on. This one just press a button, but it's got password protection. But you can turn it on, but if you don't know the password, you can push it. That's about it. You can't ride it. So there's my scooters. Next toy is a boat. Starbucks had to get me one. 